Hey everybody and welcome back today. What are we doing today? We are going to make a pill bottle. That's what we're going to do, a pill bottle. So let's just start with a cylinder. Here we go. Let's just change it back down to 32. And that's a nice size. So first of all, let's go into our oh, audience edge mode. We're going to select the bottom edges and we're going to give it a bit of a bevel because, well, that's what we do. And the top here, we're going to hit number three and we're going to delete that face and then we're going to select all these top edges. Uh, let's turn on that as well. Oh, that is on. Right, here we go. So we're going to select these top row here and we're just going to extrude it up on the Z and just scale it on in. We're going to hit the R button and then we'll just scale that out. Okay, and again at the top here, I'm just going to E, whoa, on the Z, and then just scale that on in. Let's just move that, let's just scale that out a bit, like so. Around about there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to extrude again on the Z. Just bring it down slightly. And I think this top edge we're going to just put a bit of a bevel on it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just shade smooth. So now what we need to do is create the lid. So we we'll do a shift A and create another cylinder and scale that right down. We basically need that to fit over the top there. So let's need to scale it on the X and the Y. Whoa. 1.75. one5 1.5. 1.5. That will do. And then we just need to scale that down as well to that looks good. Okay, let's just bring that over here. And um, we need to do a control A and reset the scale. Hit that bottom face. And number three, hit that bottom face. What we're going to do is I to inset and then extrude on the Z about there. Hit those top edges and control B. Give it a bit of a bevel. Hit these every other line. Like so. Oh, miss that one. Here we go. So we hit every other line, then we need to scale it in. What we can do is give those a bit of a, a bevel, like so. And then if we just hit those, 
because we don't want it to be we don't want the edges to be too sharp. So we're gonna do the same on the outer. One, let's just do a control B. Just bring those out there like that. So we've got a nice Got a nice curved grip on there. Um, so what else do we need? So we can just put that on the top there. Like so, let's just get it in the center there. And then what you can do is, I mean obviously if you've got a label you can put that on, but what I haven't. So we're just going to scale on a Z. And then just say, select a few of these faces. Front ones. And then give it a couple of textures there. New, we're just going to keep that white. New, we'll go with red. And assign that to there. And then obviously you can have whatever you want on the on the thing there. But also let's chuck in a background plane let's just chuck it down the bottom there scale that up uh, scale that across just bring it over there edit edge number two just need to extrude on the Z like so Control A and do reset scale. Go back into the tab, select that edge. Control B. Give it a nice. And then the shade smooth. Let's go into art. Let's just give that a darker. Where's the light? Here it is. Let's just move that back on an area light. Can't be an area light. Just gonna move that around there. Put it in front, say 500 watts. Let's just move that back and up. There we go. Turn off the overlays. And there you have your bottle. Let's just put a bit of specular on there. Take off roughness. off roughness you can have a little bit of a shine in the plastic and the same on here um, that's gonna have a new so we need to take off the roughness turn up the specular so we got a bit of a shine on there and then obviously if you want you can make the bottle Um, we can select that and that and move it. We just need to shift D on the X and then move that up. And then we can select that. Oh, select this, go into wireframe, 
vertices. Let's select all those on the bottom there. I don't want those. So let's see and just take out those. And then the bottom ones we can just drag down. We get ourselves a bigger bottle. There we go. Let's just spin that around. And there you have it. There you have your two bottles. Could be for anything. Anyway, I hope you got something out of this. Um, if you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Um, thank you everyone to everyone that's subscribed. Um, we got to the magic 1000 subs, so thank you very much. We will be doing a competition shortly, which is a giveaway for a um, drawing tablet for your computer. Um, we'll put the we'll post the video up later. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Tada for now.